Malta, the wonderful island located in the central Mediterranean Sea. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a small but important island with its historical moments. Staring competition. Cat versus Yovi. <laughs> As you can. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, look at these roads. It's going all, all the way down and then it has a back an incline. I've seen many roads like this already. It's Don't get a manual one. car here. <laughs> <laughs> I also spoke to a local here in Malta. He said the Maltese language is very similar to Italian in some senses. Now I don't understand much, but there are some words that are very similar to Italian to Maltese. When we were prepping for Malta, we watched many vlogs, but no one warned us about how many uphill these cities have. <laughs> it's a real workout, guys, and we're supposed to be the fit ones, so... <laughs> Good luck if you come here. <laughs> what? Quinoa and carrots? Yeah, quinoa, carrots, Salad. chicken, and salad. Is it good? Very tasty. Quinoa like beans, really good. So, Silema, which means peace and quiet, used to be a fisher's uh, village. And now it's known for the famous malls here, shopping. So, Valletta is more of the historic side, and the newer buildings and the shops, malls, are more constructed in Silema. And there's also more of the nightlife here. But yeah, I'm feeling very tired right now, so. This place is a perfect name for it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to relax here. There's a beer cap right here. Someone probably enjoying the nightlife ah. right in front of me. <laughs> so if you want to come to Sliema, you can take a ferry. It lasts about five minutes and it costs two euro eighty for a return ticket. Warning, if you come in the summer, prepare to melt in the ferry. <laughs> <laughs> But it's quick and uh, brings you to the shopping area where there's air quotes. We're in Paletta Center and we sat down for some food. We found some amazing restaurants but they were all fully booked. So guys, if you come to Paletta, make sure to reserve. Make a reservation, make that for sure. And everything is quite pricey. Like a main course is approximately 20 to 25 euros. So for starters, we got calamari. We're both starving. Just eat it. I know. If I knew that the starters were this big, I would have taken a starter as a main dish. Damn. And? Is it good? St. John's Cathedral and it is beautiful here guys. So this cathedral was built in the 16th century. It was first a Catholic uh, church 
then during the Ottoman Empire it was a mosque and then they transformed it again into a church. Uh, it's dedicated to St. John the Baptist, that's actually where my name comes from, that's my saint. It was built by a Maltese architect called Guido Lam and uh, an Italian architect helped him design it as well. There's a lot of Italian influence in Malta in general. So m most of what you see here painted is made by an Italian painter called Mattia Preti. Ladies and gentlemen, Fondazione Work Alta, the Malta Heritage Trust with the kind support of the Malta Tourism Authority and the Bank of Valletta invites you to partake in today's marking of the passage of midday with the firing of the noonday gun from the saluting battery. We went to the shop and we got some traditional Maltese filigree but we have found a shop that makes this handmade and you'll see as well the man does this for 26 years and it's such intricate fine work but it's worth it, it looks so beautiful. Once again guys if you want to visit Malta plan ahead, beware for the expensive food prices. <laughs> yeah, if you're going for Airbnb, just cook yourself a little bit more. That way you save money and you make sure that you have always good food. And ask locals uh, if there are any good places around yeah. instead of going to a touristic spot. We are currently at the Torilla Gerose. 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 Thank you. Italian restaurant in Valletta. We got the zucchini flowers and we got the burata, burata. al tartufo. And let's try it out, guys. I'm so excited to try the zucchini flowers. This is a specialty that they make in Cyprus. Inside. Da <laughs> mangiare. Mm. So good. Zucchini flowers you can't get everywhere. So if you see them, order them. <laughs> Questa è la burrata con tartufo. It's amazing, it's so creamy. So this is the carbonara. <laughs> Guys, we're having a food gasm right now. The pancetta. Oh my god. Oh the guanciale. Guys, if you're in Valletta, come visit this place. Please. Do it for me. Do it for Fetty. Do it for me as well. And the waiters are amazing as well, so helpful. Exactly. They will give you the best suggestions. As you can see here, we speak a very poor English, but we cook a very good carbonara. Uh, it's just a must. Get the goddamn carbonara. Exactly. <laughs> we got the veal alla limone with some side vegetables. Schnitzel con le patatine fritte. It's literally melt in your mouth. The vegetables also full of flavor. The fry is perfect. But this. Oh, so good. Bueno. Looking the gallerias, beautiful gallerias, guys. These cute little balconies over here. Hey, <laughs> work it, work it. <laughs> All right, guys, our trip to Malta has come to an end. We are on our way back to Schiphol Airport. Yes, we had such a great time. We love Malta. Yeah. The weather was amazing. 
the beach is even better, Valletta. The people, the people honestly, well well. Was, everyone was super friendly. We talked to the few locals, we don't have them in the film, unfortunately. Oh, this guy called Francis, very nice guy with his dog Spike. Yeah. He told us everything on the first day uh -huh. and just super welcoming and helped us, you know, get to know a bit more of Melija. If you want a budget trip and some amazing destinations, small distances, you should definitely visit Melija. Anyways guys, leave a like and see you later.